here we can instantly see that the denominators are factorized and so we can go get our lowest common denominator as 2x minus 3 and x plus 1. So from that we can get our restriction by saying that 2x minus 3 equals to 0 or, or sorry shouldn't equal to 0. Sometimes I put an equal sign, sometimes I put a not equal to. Uh, you guys know what I'm trying to do. x plus 1 is not equal to 0 and so If we had to go solve, it would be 2x is equal to 3, and then you could get x is equal to 3 over 2. So x must not equal to that, and then x must also not equal to minus 1. So just now when we get our answers, we must just make sure that it's not equal to any of those. Okay, so our lowest common denominator is 2x minus 3, minus 3 and x plus 1. So this one is going to be multiplied by x plus 1, this is going to be multiplied by 2x minus 3, and this is going to get both. So it's going to look like this. So we have something like that now. Now because the denominators are all the same, we can just cancel them out. And so we and then whatever we left with, just go write that down. Don't try solve it yet. I know I'll mention this in almost every video, but I'm trying to get you guys to see something. Okay. Now this little one in the front, I'm just going to ignore that because that doesn't really do anything. Now we can multiply the brackets in, so it's x squared plus x plus 8x minus 12. Then this is 2x squared plus 2x minus 3x minus 3. I'm going to take everything to the right, and so that's going to give us 2x squared minus x minus 3, because I just put those two together. Minus x squared minus x minus 8x plus 12, and that's eventually going to give us x squared minus 10x. plus 9. And so we could factorize this as x minus 9 and x minus 1. And so therefore x will be 9 or x can be equal to 1. Now that's not the same as the restrictions and so we are all good. That is our answer.